Yes, 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 yes. You can charge on a rainy day without getting electrocuted. Myth busted. Oh, hey guys. I just came here to charge my car. What are you doing? What are you guys doing? Out in this hurricane -y weather. What are you doing out here in this hurricane -y weather? <sighs> hurricane -y and humid, if you can't tell by the lens. Welcome everybody to a gig working day. I am on like my seventh Uber delivery. They haven't been very good. I'm realizing now that uh, a lot of people take their wait staff for granted. I mean, check this out. Check, check out these orders. See what I mean? It's like, a lot of these people, they they expect something for free. It's gig work is like a what would you call it? It's one of those services when you order food and have it brought to your house or groceries to your house. It's kind of a it's something special, right? You know, you don't have to get out of your house. You don't have to do anything. The food's brought to you. So the people go on these apps. They place the orders of the food. And uh, leave it at the door. Leave it at the door because they don't want to see you face to face. And then uh, it's, you know, we're like waitresses and waiters. Instead of bringing your food to your table where you have to see your waiter and waitress in their face. So, you know, you feel guilty if you don't tip. But for DoorDash, Uber, Walmart, and any of the other companies, it just leave at the front door. And then... You drive 18 miles for $3. And believe it or not, people are taking those things. That's crazy. I can't, I just can't do it. I have to sit there and wait and wait and wait for it. Uh, an order that is at least even, you know, 10 miles, $10, nine miles, $9 or above, you know, because people nowadays, they, they just take everything like they deserve it. It's, it's crazy. Luxury service, that's what it's called. It's a luxury service. This is what I'm talking about. This is the last house of the night. That is actually a house. Finally, finally got a good order. It is morning time. The hurricane has blown in and things are going insane outside. Rain, tree branches flying. Old ladies on bicycles floating through the air. It's a, it's one of those days. After a pretty decent day yesterday. That didn't really start out too decent. This is definitely going to be a multi-day video. It's just going to be kind of what I do in life. Other than the fun stuff. This is the non-fun stuff daily life routines. Truck driving, gig work, hurricanes, EV charging, the works, the works. The storm is going strong, but it is overtaking the rest of the state and kind of leaving my area, which means it's a perfect time to connect to trailers and get ready to head on down the road to hopefully brighter skies yeah I was told once this hurricane is gone Hurricane Debbie after Debbie did Florida Steph stuck in a truck contact me and she goes you know we got eight more already formed on their way here we got like eight more hurricanes and she named them all off to me it's in it's just that time of year they're just lining up back to back to back I'm driving a gas car it's been so long since I've driven a gas car they're so weird this is a Ford Taurus. When you step on the throttle, it's just so weird. There's like hardly any response. It's, and I know it's a newer car, but it's just, it's just weird. It, it's weird. Just so weird. So 
we have actually quite a few company cars like that Dodge right in front of us. We have a few down there, that red one, I think, and we also have a red diesel pickup somewhere, but I think someone's got it at the moment. I could honestly say, and, and, and the truth, would much rather put up with uh, obstacles of having a Nissan Leaf and the Chatamo situation than jump back into a gas car. It's just weird. We're driving these things. It didn't take long, didn't take, didn't take long to get used to driving electric cars. I've been seeing lots of reports, of uh, fake, I, th I believe fake news, um, where 50% of EV owners want to switch back to ICE vehicles. I don't believe it. I, I, I just can't believe it. There's, it's no, there is no way I could ever switch back because gas cars are, they're just so weird. <sighs> but I had to, I had to drive a gas car because mine is at our other yard. And I wanted to try this Taco Bell box, this $7 box. All the fast food restaurants nowadays are trying to say, hey, we can be cheaper and give better food than the other restaurants. I've done the $5 McDonald's a couple times. I think that's a great value. But I heard tales for basically the same price and a much larger drink. You get a lot more food at Taco Bell and it does look like you get chips, cheese, tacos, burritos, chalupas for basically the same price of a McDonald's $5 value meal. I think Taco Bell might be winning this battle. I had to drive a gas car to go get it. Right out of the, right out of the unwrapping. I thought I was unwrapping a taco, but what is this? I've never had this. I usually just stick with a bean burrito or a pizza. This has a lot of stuff in it. Now it looks like a taco, but it's not a taco. I have no idea what it is, but it looks good. And it actually is pretty good. Wow. Yeah, Taco Bell's got a winner on their hands with this box lunch thing. Well, I am back in the car after a long night of work in the truck. Figured I'd come over and get a free charge at these little local charge point 1772s before heading home and enjoying some slumber. Uh, right now I am at 864 miles is what I have on there and so far my bills that since I started this on the first I've went 843 or 47 miles that's what it was, it was 147 since the first and today is the seventh and I've spent right around 16 bucks to go that 847 miles and I, I still have like 149 miles to drive so I, I don't know what that means I'm just showing the miles that I've driven on my trip radar or my trip a because I have trip a and trip b trip b is what I do for normally the whole month and trip a is what I do on a daily basis but for this little experiment I'm just using trip a so I don't have to cycle through everything um yeah and and what was wrong is that one Hyundai dealer here in Leesburg they charge 60 cents a kilowatt hour. And so that bill was kind of outrageous. All my, and the other charge was like $4 or something. So I'm, I'm just right around 16 bucks, right around there. So, so almost 900 miles, spending about 16 bucks. And one of the main reasons I'm keeping it fairly low and I'm gonna try and keep it low for the whole month and get as many miles as I can. As a matter of fact, this coming weekend, Got a little road trip trip plan, possibly out of the state of Florida. My car's never been out of the state of Florida. And I think with this adapter, it's about time to do that. But one way to keep the cost down is 1772 free charging. Take it where you can get it. Yeah, so what you've seen over the last day, that's my day. What I normally do when I'm trying to uh, generate revenue for little adventures, it's just 
my normal life, which is crazy because my life used to be nothing but the truck. I would live in the truck for like 60 days at a time, go out for two months over the road and come home for about 14 days, go back out for two months, come home for about 14 days. I did that for, I don't know how many years, almost 30, I think 28 years. And uh, now I'm a local driver this year. I'm not going to stay local. I think next year, New Year's Eve, I'm going to go out for a whole year and just bust butt because I do want to leave the country and I want to start going on more airplane adventures. And the only way to do that and pay your bills is to be an over-the-road driver. But right now, it's not too bad. I mean, a lot of things have changed. I got an EV. I've had two EVs since I've been doing this. Since, well, since I went to the Philippines and back, I had a the one that my son has, the Nissan Leaf, and I got this one. I have a girlfriend. All my friends are females, pretty much. One of them I let into my life, and now she went from a Facebook girlfriend to a regular girlfriend. I'm going to go ahead and elevate her now. Hopefully she doesn't see this. I want her to continue thinking we're just Facebook boyfriend and girlfriends. But I elevated her. She's. I never thought I would have another girlfriend. I really didn't want one. My life was going really, really well. What am I doing in life? I don't know. But, you know, things change. And uh, hopefully for the better. I think things, I think we got a game plan. You know, and maybe I can knock all this out before I die. And I'm kind of hoping I do. So I'm going to go ahead and continue doing this stuff next week. I will be posting some videos of a possible out-of-state road trip using the new adapter, so you guys should check that out. And I just can't keep working every day. I got to get out and have some fun. So I just wanted to put this video out there to kind of show what I do on a daily basis or almost daily basis. Charging is a daily basis thing, at least. Not always truck driving anymore. It's just weird. It's in my blood, and I want to get back out in the truck. I want to get back out on, on the open road, especially during the summertime. Maybe not so much in the winter, but in the summertime, it'd be nice. Get out of this Florida heat. It sucks. The Florida heat is awful. Peace out, everybody.